I am Dr. Ajay Sharma, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, James Engineering Management Technical Campus, Knowledge Park 3, Greater Noida. The subject that I teach in this semester for BTEC 7th semester students uh, is Opto Electronics and Optical Communication. And this is the main subject of the the final year students. And the topic uh, that I discuss today is fundamental uh, receiver operation. Uh, <clears throat> so optical communication basically have uh, three blocks major blocks uh, start with optical transmitter then optical channel uh, which is of course a optical fiber and optical receiver right and so the basic responsibility of optical receiver is to detect the signal that is coming from optical fiber which is a light signal and gives its output and the performance of optical communication basically depends upon optical receiver right uh, and the performance of optical receiver actually depends upon optical detector so more advanced detector or optical detector that you use then more accurate results you get from optical uh, receiver and this is also be true that when the signal you know travel or guide through optical fiber the, the you know the signal get attenuated and distorted this is the tendency of the signal and tendency of the signal is also that when the signal, of course, it's a light signal. You know, when travel is at a distance, then their amplitude also decreases. So, the when the signal, so this type of signal reach at the receiver, of course, the signal become very weak. So, the receiver operation is, you know, is very important in such scenario. Uh, to first of all to sense the weak signal and gives the uh, output and, and right so that the duty of the optical receiver is you know much more important than the optical transmitter so in an optic uh, communication system optical signals that reach fiber optic receiver are generally attenuated and distorted which is which, which is shown in this this figure you see in this figure these are the pulses at the output of the transmitter and when they travel they become weak and weak because their amplitude decreases so the fiber optic uh, receiver must convert the input and amplify the re resulting electrical signal without distorting it to a point that other circuitry cannot use it so in most fiber optic systems, the optical detector is a pin photodiode or APD. So mostly we we have we have to choose between two photodiode, PIN photodiode or avalanche photodiode. So regarding uh, now I'll discuss to certain points regarding optical receiver. So receiver performance varies depending on the type of detector used that we already discussed. The detector, the the you know the more the if you if the if your detector is more advanced than of, and obviously optical receiver output is more accurate. So the receiver performance varies depending on the type of detector used. The amplifier is generally described as having two stages: the pre-amplifier and post-amplifier means. Optical receiver receiver have two stage amplification. First stage we called as a pre-amplifier stage. 
and after detection after the detector we have post amplifier so de uh, before detector we have a stage which is pre amplifier stage and after detector we need again amplification we have a post amplifier so the pre amplifier and post amplifier are the two stages that we used in optic receiver so and the pre amplifier is defined as the first stage of amplification following the optical detector and the post amplifier is defined as the remaining stages of amplification required to raise the detector's practical signal to a level suitable for further signal uh, processing so the pre amplifier is the dominant contributor of electrical noise in the receiver and because of this its design has a significant influence in determining the sensitivity of the receiver now the output circuitry of optical receiver processes the amplified signal into a form suitable for the interfacing circuitry and for digital receiver because nowadays we always use a digital re receivers so for digital uh, receivers this circuitry may include low pass filters and comparators and for, for analog receiver this circuitry may also include low pass filters so the circuitry that we used in optical receiver uh, is basically a filters and comparators that we used and receiver sensitivity bandwidth and dynamic range are key operational parameters used to define receiver performance so these are the factors you know receiver sensitivity or you may say responsivity and bandwidth and dynamic range these are the key operational factors or you may say parameters that used to define receiver performance so one goal in designing fiber optic receiver is to optimize receiver sensitivity and to increase sensitivity receiver noise resulting from signal dependent short noise and thermal noise must be kept at minimum so two types of noise uh, that uh, have chance to come uh, in optical receiver one is short noise and other is thermal noise so these two types of noise should be kept at minimum uh, so we have uh, you know uh, that these noise creates a problem and because of these noise sometimes uh, you know the incorrect decision made by the optical receiver because of the interference of these type of two noise at the optical receiver so in a, in a, in addition to optimizing sensitivity optical receiver designs goals also include optimizing the bandwidth and the dynamic range so a receiver that has the ability to operate over a wide range of optical power levels can operate efficiently in both short and long distance application so you know uh, the it's the ability of the optical receiver to operate at wide range of optical power levels means if your optical receiver is able to you know operate on low power levels then more is the efficiency of your optical receiver right that is that's why the you know uh, the efficiency of your optical receiver actually depends on how weak signal your optical receiver is to be pick and sense and gives output without uh, error so that is the meaning of that and because conflicts arise when attempting to meet each goal there is a trade off in receivers designs are made to optimize overall performance look out the whole operation of optical link that includes 
optical transmitter, optical fiber and optical receiver. So, we start with we start with this point. What is this? This is a electrical pulses because we always deal with digital communication in optical communication nowadays. So, we start with the electrical pulses that we have which in the form of 1 and 0. This is 2 level voltage and the time period of each bit is TB. So, we start with the electrical input pulses. What you require you convert this electrical pulses into optical pulses and this can be done by optical source. This may be LED or laser. We have two optical sources LED or laser. After the after that when, when you get optical power pulses now launch these optical pulses inside this optical fiber. This is optical fiber. Now when now these pulses travel through this optical fiber and when these pulses travel across this optical fiber then these pulses are attenuated and distorted optical power pulses right and when these pulses reach to the receiver side this is the receiver side then receiver first block is photodiode this photodiode may be pin photodiode or avalanche photodiode and these are the optical pulses so this pin and avalanche photodiode convert these optical pulses which are distorted and attenuated in a electrical current pulse these are the electrical pulses but these electrical pulses still have a noise because this because uh, because in input of this pin have a signal of course which is a optical signal but contain noise so even the this pin or avalanche photodiode convert this in a current pulses but this current pulses still have a noise content then with the help of amplifier and filter this filter filter out or remove the noise noise part and amplify the signal so we get a more smooth noise free pulses there so these are the voltage pulses and 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 some noise content is also reduced after that there is a decision circuit this decision circuit decides whether in a particular time period one was transmitted or zero was transmitted right and this decision circuit takes a decision on the basis of threshold so if something is if this is a threshold if something is above the threshold in a particular time period then receiver declare one is received and when something is below uh, a threshold uh, receiver declare zero is received so these are the 101 pulses that is made by the receiver on the basis of decision and decision on the basis of these voltage pulses. Now after processing this again processing this, we get the massive signal and normally massive signals are sinusoidal signals or a or a random type of signals you know information is always a random type of signal. So this is basically the whole story of optical communication where this part is belong to this part start from this part belong to optical receiver and this part belong to this part belong to optical transmitter this is optical fiber and this part belong to optical receiver so this is the optical receiver operation. And these four, one, two, three, four, all blocks belong to optical receiver. Then this particular block belongs to optical transmitter, and this block is optical fiber, act as a channel. So these are some story of this optical receiver. So I once again repeat, as far as this slide is concerned. So the first receiver element is a pin and avalanche photodiode that we already seen which produce electrical current proportional to the received power level 
and this electrical current typically is a very weak a front end amplifier boosted to a level that can be used by following electronics so this is your photo detector this is a front end amplifier so this photodiode convert h mu which is a power of photon light energy converted to electrical energy this is front end amplifier after being amplified the signal passes through a low pass filter to reduce the noise that is outside of the signal bandwidth and they also filter uh, filter and can reshape the pulses that have become distorted as they travel along the fiber so we have a equalizer we have a filter this to reduce the noise then when you sampling circuit and clock recovery and decision circuit and we get the output so together with the clock or timing recovery circuit a decision circuit decide whether a one or zero pulse was received so thank you very much